And last year, we were so lucky to be able to be at this conference. This is uh, our National Association of Independent Schools. Um, this is the, the, the national conference, about five to 6,000 educators, headmasters, admission people, uh, division heads attend. And this is Mr. John Chubb, the president of the association. Um, he, he whispered to our headmaster, hey, I'm gonna, I, I may mention Choate, so pay attention, don't be out drinking coffee uh, during the keynote address. Uh, and it turned into this two minute, uh, two and a half minute piece that I wanna share with you that's gonna lead into my next, uh, my next point of emphasis. I had a chance to visit there last spring in the pouring rain and one of those sort of cold New England spring days. It was muddy as can be. Choke Rosemary Hall is a school that has always been known for a student-centered approach to education. And there you can see students in a very traditional setting learning. But right now, Choke Rosemary Hall is in the construction process, maybe they've now finished the construction process of a brand new learning space, not based on traditional classrooms, but very much a view of what schooling can look like in the future. And they've built this new math and science and technology center, and I had a chance to tour it in the pouring rain, traipsing through mud. It was really quite an experience. And I had a chance to visualize with, uh, with um, Alex Curtis, the school head, and with uh, some of the staff, what this new space was gonna be like, and I was impressed. But what I was most impressed by was after we went back inside and warmed up, the leadership team shared with me their vision for how this space was going to be used. And they talked about the new integrated curriculum, and that was impressive, but the most impressive thing that they said was, for this new learning space to work, we have to ensure that our teachers are well prepared to teach in a different way, in a different space, and they laid out a three-year program of professional development for how their teachers were going to be able to turn this space into a space of excellence for the benefit of students. There is nothing more important today ever for the success of our schools than the quality of our teachers. And this is just one school example of a school ensuring that teachers are the most important thing. That's what excellence is all about. 